yay, I'm so excited. We're going on a trip to Colorado and we're actually driving. So this is gonna be a what I pack for my ostomy for nine days on a road trip. Now I've definitely flown before, so I do wanna let you know though too that you can, you can totally take your supplies through TSA and um, like have them in your carry-on. And I actually recommend that you do have them in your carry-on because you never know what can happen, even in an airport. Leaks are unpredictable and sometimes you get stuck in the airport. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go through, this is how I typically organize kind of my daily ostomy supplies. Uh, it looks kind of messy, but it's got a rhyme and reason to it. <laughs> so that's gonna also help me figure out what to pack and make sure I don't miss anything from my normal regular ostomy bag changes. So we are going for nine days, which means that I'll probably change my bag about two times at the very least. <laughs> so I typically get about three days of wear in um, with my bags sometimes i can stretch it to be a little bit longer as long as they um, you know if they are holding up pretty well and they're not like like peeling up on the edges or looking like they're leaking or anything like that i try to extend the wear for as long as possible because these suckers are expensive and i don't want to waste you know any of them <laughs> so the longer that i can get out of a wear the better i love these coloplast sensor amino bags because I feel like this material, compared to when I've used the Hollister bags before, this material dries a lot faster. So if I'm gonna be doing any sort of vacation in the ocean or where swimming or water is involved at all, I love the fact that I can get out of the pool or get out of the ocean, towel off, and I feel like within a couple minutes, this is already dry. So it doesn't feel just like this wet, yucky thing sitting on your abdomen. So that's why I really love these ones. I use the Coloplast Sensor Mio 16706, I believe. Actually, let me look. I always keep the original box because I want to make sure that when I'm ordering new ones that I get the same kind of the of the bags that I like. So yes, I wear the 16706. This is a single bag, um, one piece bag. So what that means is that you have your flange, I think it's called. <laughs> I feel like so unversed in this when I'm coming on the camera. It's all of a sudden I'm just like, ah, words. But anyway, everything is connected. So all you have to do is just cut out the size of your stoma and then yeah, slap it on. It's easy peasy. So that's why I like the one piece bags. However, I'm going to digress a little bit. But when I was first starting off and I wasn't sure what the size of my stoma was, I did like the fact that I had a two piece. So I could cut the flange, measure it, put it on, make sure it's actually really good and you know, right around the shape of my stoma. And then I graduated to the one piece bag. So let me know in the comments below, do you wear a one piece or a two piece and why? Um, I love the drainable bags. I feel like this is something that works well for me because I have a higher output, I think. Um, I, have, I empty my bag probably eight to 10 times a day, which I'm actually gonna take you along with me someday and just see like what a normal day is like for me, how often I have to empty it, when do I empty it, all of that. So stay tuned for one of those videos. And, um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, love these bags. So since I'll be gone for nine days, my first kind of thing to figure out is how many bags do I need to pack? I highly recommend packing extra because you never know. You never know when your stoma is gonna misbehave and leak or something happens and you just, you need to change your bag more than you anticipate. So if I'm gonna be gone for nine days and I typically get about three days of wear, I could bring three bags, but I'm gonna go ahead and pack five or six. So um, another, actually another pouch that I have liked as well, the 10471. And the only difference between these two is that the one that I'm using currently has a little bit more of that convexity. So you see that side by side, you can see how this one kind of like sticks out more or essentially when it's on your stomach, it's gonna stick in more. I found that kind of snugging up to my os or my stoma like that helps me not leak. So oh, it's so nice. Cause you know, right around your stoma, if you ever get like irritated skin, that hurts. And <laughs> it doesn't feel good at all to like have that kind of be um, exposed to more output. So I found that for me, this is what I needed. However, I did contact uh, Coloplast to kind of try some samples and see if that actually was what I needed. For me, it worked. If you have any questions or anything like that, definitely reach out to them. They're amazing and they will send you tons of samples. So we're going to pack these bags. <laughs> we need five of these. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my extra supply here and we will grab out a handful. So let's see. Oh my gosh. And all I, I 
hate this, man. All I have left is five. So, I mean, I'm fine. I do have these other ones here at home, but that just lets me know that I need to reorder that. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this box over here in my order pile. I feel like it's a never ending job just to reorder supplies all the time. Um, I do wanna get back to the point where I actually have a surplus of supplies and like a good stock on hand, but that'll come. Um, anyway, what I pack these in is just a little travel makeup case here. I feel like I like this one because it's got a couple pockets in it. Um, so we're gonna just go ahead and stick those bags right in there. And honestly, these don't take up a whole lot of space. So everything that I'm packing is for a nine day trip and plus extras, you know? So I feel like this is gonna fit very nicely. We are driving, which I think I mentioned before, but if you are flying, you can totally take your ostomy supplies through TSA. I actually, the first time that I ever flew after having an ostomy, um, I was really nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, are they gonna take my supplies away? But they don't. Um, I did get flagged a couple times as far as like, you know, they see the ostomy bag on the, on the screen sometimes. And so I just had to like show them what it was and then run my fingers over it. And they tested my fingers probably for drugs. I don't know. <laughs> and so then um, after that though, I haven't been stopped. So anyway, um, when I'm traveling, I can't remember what the fluid ounce uh, is that you can travel with. I think actually even this bigger size, the 3.4 fluid ounce would still pass. But why do I think it's like three ounces? Doesn't matter anyway, they come with mini sizes and this is what I typically travel with for the adhesive remover. But it's almost empty, which means I need to reorder this too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this brand new full one. Hey, actually, neither of them make a noise. So maybe there's still a good amount in here. Either way, I'm gonna reorder this one because I like to have backups of everything. You never know when you're gonna run out and nothing sucks worse than when you run out of something that you use every day. So I'm gonna pack that in my little bag here. I always use these little medical, sorry for the wrinkle, these kind of like gauze things. <laughs> Golly. Um, yeah, we are not, I'm not a nurse. I'm not a medical professional or anything. So I like to call these little gauze things and they are like a medical thing. So I like to use these kind of gauze wipes um, whenever I'm cleaning up around my stoma or I actually tuck it into my jeans or my underwear when I'm doing a stoma change because a stoma change, an, an ostomy bag change because your stoma can be unpredictable sometimes and then just kind of, you know, start putting out the uh, stool. So this is really good for kind of catching those leaks really quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this full bag of them because you can never have too many. I've had a couple instances where you needed a lot of them. Um, I'm also gonna pack these. These are the sting-free adhesive removers. So we do have the spray, but I also like to, to bring these little towelettes because that way I can clean it up right around the stoma. Um, if there's any sort of sticky residue left, these are really good for getting that off. And they're super gentle on your skin, even if you have irritated skin. So I'm gonna pack several of those. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a large cluster. I typically use one to two per bag change. So let's just try to grab about 10. I just feel like you can never have too many and I'd rather have too many products and come home with them than not enough, you know what I mean? Um, and so next up, we're gonna do the stoma, like the stoma powder, and say I need to do the crusting technique, which I kind of talked about in my previous video. Um, the barrier film spray, which this one is almost empty. So um, I do have one on order, so I know I'll bring this one this time. It's more full. And then the stoma powder. So I just look on the side and make sure that I have enough for, you know, several bag changes, which I feel like I do. I got a ton of these things. So we'll just go ahead and bring the fuller one because you, again, you never know. I'd rather have enough and not run out. A couple other things that I like to bring are these Convitec diamonds. These are going to be really good, especially for travel day. Uh, so when I'm road tripping here, this is going to help to kind of soak up the excess water or liquid <laughs> in your output. If you have a really liquidy output, this is really good for that, so, you know, words. Anyway, they are just a little, uh, they say they're a gelling and odor control satchel. Um, and then they come with this cute little bag. So I'm just gonna stick like, you know, several of them in there. And for me, what it helps it do is kind of make my output a little bit more gel-like, honestly. So it's less liquidy, which means I have to empty it less frequently, which is great for when you're in a car for a long time or if you're on a plane for a long time. 
you just kind of stick it in. Actually, let me show you. So if you have your bag um, and you're, you know, emptying it or whatnot, you can actually just slip this right in the bottom part that you drain, get it in there, and then just, um, you know, close it on up and then it works in there once it touches liquid. I hope that makes sense. But for now, we'll take this guy out. Okay. And I feel like it does help with odor too. The only times that I really notice any sort of odor, overwhelming odor from my bag is when I'm emptying it. That's it. It's the same as when other people who have normal systems, when they poop, it smells. That's just it, you know? <laughs> but I notice it smells more if you have eggs or fish, like salmon, tuna. Oh my God. Oof. One night I had, like, actually recently I had lobster one night and then I had a tuna fish sandwich the next day and I was like, oh, I almost knocked my own self out. <laughs> okay, another thing that I'm going to bring, oh, that almost, I almost forgot, but you need the stoma scissor. That is, like, super, super important. So we're going to put that right in there. I try to have extras of each of these products because you never know if something could happen and you lose one along the way or whatever. Um, here's the little stoma trash bags. Sometimes, you know, when I run out of these, I just use like plastic Walmart bags, um, but we're gonna bring these. They're great for travel. And then you just tie them up and toss them in the trash. So put those in there. And then finally, I'm going to bring the mesalamine suppositories because I don't need to use these every day, but sometimes if I feel like the, the remaining ulcerative colitis that's in my rectal stem, if that starts to be kind of irritated, these are nice to have on hand to kind of stop the, uh, the flare. So we'll put a whole whole row of those in there. Um, two things left that I pack. I, <laughs> I'm waiting on my order to come or the skin protective barrier sheets. You know I showed you these before and how I said get the 6x6 six six and not the 10x10 10 10 because 10x10 10 10 actually means 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters and not not inches like the 6x6 six six is, which is really silly. But anyway, see, this is just a little bit too small. It doesn't totally cover every area, like how wide this bag is. So I usually need to do some sort of like fancy maneuver of where I cut one of these in half and then, you know, use it to kind of piece together so that my whole skin is covered around. It's really, it's a pain in the butt. I need my 6x6, six six, but the person that I ordered it from through eBay, is in the hospital right now. So I won't be getting it before I leave for the trip, which is unfortunate and prayers to them that they get out soon and feel better. Um, oh, how about that? So 10, oh duh, okay. 10 by 10 centimeters is really four by four inches. And I wish that they would just market it like that instead of saying 10 by 10, cause that's misleading, I think. But anyway, I do have these because I accidentally ordered them one time thinking I was getting a really good deal on these because typically they're like $5 per sheet. So. You don't want to you don't want to have to use them but if you have skin issues you got to use it sometimes so anyway i'm gonna pack this whole box because i'm probably gonna need all of them um, and hopefully my six by six size will arrive you know what i'm not gonna take the box because these are these fit better in there without the box all right and then finally i love to use these elastic barrier strips these help to kind of keep my the outer edge of my bag in place and also, if I'm like swimming or any, swimming, taking a bath, showering, whatever, um, I like to put these around the outer edge because then it, it really holds it in place too. So we're gonna pack at least enough for each of the bags. One, two, three. I go top and bottom with these so that it really, so it really stays in place well. So we're just gonna bring a handful, at least 10 of them. Sometimes I need to use a couple extra if like one falls on the floor, which always seems to happen. But anyway, here is my total supply bag of what I usually tip take, ugh, what I usually take with me on a typical vacation. We are going for nine days, so it is a little bit extra. Like this is more than I probably typically pack for a vacation. But again, I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> so hopefully this was helpful. Um, you can follow along on my journey here on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that little bell for notifications for when I upload new videos. Um, and thank you so much for everyone who's reached out. I love to hear your story. I love to know where you're at in your journey. If you have any suggestions for me as far as products that you love to use that you think would benefit me as well, or just in general, if you just want to say hey, go ahead and message me. Um, I'll link my Instagram below. I love connecting with you. And thank you so much for being here today. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.